for two years, director Kevin Smith has been traveling around the country, bringing us pieces of America's roadside attractions. Now the holidays here, we thought we'd put together kind of a reunion of, of sorts. So we sent Kevin on his, on his latest trip with his old movie partner, Jason Mewes. You know Jason Mewes? Yeah, yeah. All right. So here they are once again, ladies and gentlemen, Jay and Silent Bob. Come on out here, guys. That was my Christmas gift to him. Yeah, I nice. promised well, he'd come out here lovely. and hump your leg for Christmas. Well, merry, merry day after Christmas. <laughs> that is the only thing you promised him. I did promise him one more thing. What I promised that for one night only, you would change the title of the show from The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. To The Tonight Show with Jay Muse. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay. Uh, let me ask you. Now, this is another roadside attraction. Yes, this time we went to America's Cure for Boredom, Arizona. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... And again, I assume this will be, it is the Christmas season, so we were all done in, in, in good You're worried taste. that it's going to be tasteless? Well, we, we've had some calls. Like, like, you're the king of propriety or something. I watched the monologue, dude. You did a joke about uh, prom sex and a Michael Jackson joke, and you were coming down on me for... Yeah, dreaming. For being lewd? You must have been watching the rerun. We cut out all the full frontal nudity. All That's right, all. All right, let's see. So what do we have? So you went to Arizona. Went to Arizona. Let's take a look. Phoenix, Arizona at the world famous Hall of Flame Fire Museum. Now this time around on Roadside Attractions, we're going to do a little differently. I brought my old pal Jason Muse along with me because I need to keep him gainfully employed. Why is that exactly, Jason? Uh, convicted felon on probation. Very good. And like most convicted felons, The Tonight Show has deigned to give you a microphone. That's right. You're going to be a junior correspondent. Come inside with me. We'll talk to folks. But remember, it's all on the wrist with the microphone back and forth like this. You speak? They speak. So far, so good. Junior? Keeping you out of jail. Hmm. 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 It's fine, dude. We're no, no, but like my dude, it's fine. We're here with James Ward, curator of the Hall of Flame Museum. Now, James, what's going on in this big room? This is our hand and horse drawn gallery. This mm -hmm. is where we have our mm -hmm. oldest pieces of uh, apparatus. We have fire equipment here from the 17 and 1800s. I see. I was a bit misled when on the phone somebody told me there'd be a lot of hookers and hoes here, though. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, well, no. Maybe at the fire station. But here we just have hose carriages, hose wagons, pumpers. Do you have any hose numbers? No. Dude, when does this get funny? This is Take that mic. Give me, give me no, that. You're not ready. You're not, I, I knew you weren't listening. ready. You weren't ready. I was... Leaving behind all those flamers, we could barely believe how very lucky we were to make some bears at the Stuffington Bear Factory. Are we there yet? Shut up. We're here with Richard Barrett at the Stuffington Bear Factory. Richard, what are we going to do here today? Well, we make stuffed animals, and you're going to get a chance to make your own stuffed animal today. Get out of here. Well, let's go get stuffed. You're already stuffed. Super size. Junior correspondent. Super size. Junior correspondent. Super size. Junior size. Junior size. <laughs> Give me that. Give me it. You haven't earned it. Uh, now, Richard, how long does it generally take for a custom job? We can do them really quick. In fact, here comes your choice right now. Here. That's what you chose? Yes. The beef. Now, Richard, what's this big boy right here do? This is what we use to stuff all our animals. So this pipe right here is what we will be using to stuff the beaver? That is correct. It will be inserted into the beaver? That's right. And then the beaver will be stuffed. Filling the, thus filling the beaver? That's correct. How long does it generally take to stuff the beaver? Uh, as long as you want to take. How long do you take to stuff the beaver? A long time. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> Damn, Richard, you know how to stuff the beaver. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. You want to do it again? No, I'm stuffed. So, Richard, where are we now at this stage with the beaver? We're bathing. So this is where you can kind of trim up the beaver, you know, give it a landing strip, or give your beaver a Brazilian, or... Virgin smoothie. Virgin smoothie. If you want. Nice. After treating ourselves to a pair of virgin smoothies, we were off to Scottsdale to hang with the hayseeds at the Rawhide Western Town. This is Marshal J.T. Hannibal, and we're here at the Rawhide Western Town in Scottsdale, Arizona. Now, Marshal, what are we in for today? Well, uh, more than likely, there's going to be a gunfight. Uh, pistol Pack and Paula, she's here. Pistol Pack and Paula? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pistol Pack and Paula's here. 
And uh, more than likely, before it's all over, somebody's going to get arrested. Oh, dude, you don't know how right you are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pistol, Pistol Packet, Packet Paula! Well, howdy there. My name is Pistol Pack and Paula, and right now I'm going to show you a little of what I do. Woo-hoo! Dude, I could do that. Shut up. I want to do it. But don't embarrass me, dude. Come on, let me try. No, you're not going to touch the guns. I know you're not going to be happy unless you ask, so just ask. Paula, can I try the guns? You want to try this? Please. You think you can handle it? Definitely. Okay, I'll let you try. Hold my mic. No, 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 dude. A correspondent holds his own mic. Come on, dude, I need... Hold the mic and do the gun. All right, ready? You know what the best part of Rawhide is? Of No, it's their Wild West stunt show. Keep them going. Rawhide. This is Rob Jensen. He's a stunt coordinator here at Rawhide. Now, Rob, some of those stunts we saw were pretty spectacular. I appreciate Shut that, Kevin. Look at me, dude. I'm a cowboy. Woo! It's very, very cute, cowboy. Jason, but we're doing a show Wee-hoo. down here. Sorry. So, Rob, when you, when you guys are actually engaged in... No, I in... said, look at me, you tubby bitch. I'm a cowboy. I said, I'm a cowboy, man. Just... <laughs> so, anyway, when you guys roll off the roof... Now, no trip to the Old West would be complete without sampling some authentic Western cuisine. So, Marshall, what are we going to be eating today? We got Rocky Mountain oysters here. Now, I thought oysters came from the ocean, not from Arizona. Well, these oysters used to belong to a bull. What part? Testicles. Bull testicles. Do you want to try some bull testicles? No way. I'll give you 500 bucks. 500 bucks? 500 bucks, I'd put your testicles in my mouth. Oh, hold on to this. All righty. Thank you, guys. Very good. What... We got you a belated Christmas gift. you have something for me? Oh, this is the, oh, well, that's, well, that's fine. Well, thank Your you, own guys. personal well, beaver. that's very kind. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Jason, Kevin, thank you, guys. Have a happy new year. Be right back with William H. Macy right after this.